Good evening guys, Mike here again from MIM Reptiles. Apologies for not having a video up in the last week or two. I've actually been away on a business trip for the last few days to, to Nottingham. Um, as anyone who's my friend on Facebook knows. So this video, as you can tell by the title, I'll hopefully tell, is sort of all about stress in, in, in snakes and reptiles. And Archie here, you might not have seen for a few weeks as a prime example. He did eat a medium rat last week. He um, is probably going into shed. He looks quite quite dull, quite dark at the minute. So that's why he looks a bit a bit dull at the minute. Here he comes. Um, he's just over four foot, I think, and he's getting quite quite chunky as well. So sorry about that. Just checking if the flash was on. So as I said, this is all about. Um, stress and reptiles. Uh, why I'm discussing that with him, don't know whether you can tell from his head. He has a, he did have a quite a bad or a nasty nose rub on his head. Uh, that was all down to, he, he went to a friend of mine um, just for, a, it was going to be for a few months at the time um, to help with a, a breeding project that he was doing. Um, as you can, well, as you know from very start of my channel, he was the first first boa I had on the channel, um, and I've had him since he was a few months old. He's probably about mm, nearly, he's over, well, he's between eighteen months and twenty four months at the minute. Um, so eighteen months and two years. Always been really calm. If anything, he's been a little bit shy, but he's never been defensive or aggressive or anything to me. Um, my friend did take him, and within a day or two. Um, he was being at being at my friend's house. He was apparently uh, aggressive, defensive. He bit him three times. He was thrashing around, tried to get out of his cage. He was very stressed. That's why he got the nose nose rub. Um, so I think this is a prime example of when snakes become used to a person, maybe a person's smell, their surroundings, uh, everything to do with that. They can become very comfortable. Anything from the norm uh, as they see it. Uh, they they start to freak out. They get very stressed. Any new smells of of anyone, um, they don't like it. So just beware of that if you're ever ha ever having to to rehome any reptiles going forward. Um, if you've had them for quite a long time, um, they might not be in the best mental state whenever they move homes. Um, so just to make you aware of that, as you can see, not a problem to me at all. Um, he is, as I said, going into shed, so he's a little bit, a little bit um, on the off side, but he's he's never sort of struck at me or hit, even hissed or anything like that at me. He's always been lovely, um, but apparently he was a a nightmare or evil, as my friend put it for for him. So that's a bit strange. So um, what do you guys think? Comment below. Can a uh, sort of conditions impact a snake's mental state, their stress levels, to the to the point where they Get a nose rub like Archie has here. Hopefully that will disappear within a few sheds. Um, I just feel bad for him. Um, hence why I, I took him back. Um, so, yeah guys, let me know below. Like uh, the video if you've enjoyed this topic. Comment below if you have any views on this or any differing opinions to me. And subscribe if you're new. Thanks again guys. I'll get back to my regular uploads soon. Cheers. Have a good evening. And cheerio.